Hello everybody, Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications to be notified of all my videos. Let's jump right back into the video here. Let me make sure yep, everything's going good here, okay. I do need to take some pictures, some screen, some snapshots or screenshots, whatever they call them in the game, so I can make some thumbnails. <laughs> this one would be a good one right here. There we go. Oh, Hackett's on VidCom, isn't he? Commander, something else you need? No. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Okay. I thought maybe we had to talk to Hackett. No, we don't. Yes, Commander. We don't need to talk to Primark either. Of course, Commander. Okay. You see the feed from Paladin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding it. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. Commander, you have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Uh. Just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Okay, Miranda wants us to meet her on the Citadel. And Hackett is like, hey, um, thank you for getting the students out of the, um, out of the Academy. We're sending them to protect us, um... Protect us at the crucible. Alright. Let me take a look at the map, see where everyone is. Okay. We'll head back to the Citadel, I think. Because we got some things we can do there. So. Make sure nothing else is here. Okay. Yeah, we got some things we can do here. Um, I don't want to do any of the DLC yet. Because I don't have the weapons to do it. You really need some high-powered you really need some high-powered weapons, so... Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. <laughs> Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Okay. There she is. Yep, I thought she was over here. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Right? Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. 
Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Have you had any run-ins with the Elusive Man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Okay. Now I need to check the map, see where everyone is. We'll go to the embassies first because there's a couple things we can do there. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Okay. Ilium is under attack. Yes, I talk to you. Fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Balal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. 
I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Palau's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Okay. You got that mission? Okay, he's over here somewhere. No? Oh. oh, I know where he is. He's over... Yeah, okay, I know where he is. He's here. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Right? So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Well, enable the... You gotta come in here and enable the tracking for the Hanar. So you come to the Spectre Terminal and then you hit X to enable it. So okay, here's a Citadel Entry Authorization. Instructors at Grissom Academy have requested facilities on the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school, but who are not ready, not yet ready to join the older students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a Spectre approves the request. We're going to go ahead and approve it. And military pardons for Normandy engineers. Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and the Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. We're going to go ahead and authorize it. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect.
Okay, so I'm gonna get the M7 Eagle. Because it's a fun gun to use until we get another handgun. Okay, we need to go to the terminal, which is down this way. Wow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we need to go to the docks. To get that terminal. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. We're not going to talk to people yet. We're just going to do this mission first, and then we'll go around talking to people. Now arriving at docking bay E-24. Bao, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajé. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so all the way back to the back here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away? Yes, we can. Tell your friends to- You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds. Don't fire. I'll, I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Okay. So we did that just, uh, um... I'm not going to listen to all the banter. The same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. Ah! Uh, you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Uh, uh, she had a Kasumi had a thing for Jacob! Here's the correspondence. 
If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Okay. Oh, he's all the way at the end. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one him. moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it! Wait! A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the. Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. You can come out now. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. <laughs> he really knows how to recruit, doesn't he? <laughs> All right. Um, 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 we're going to go to the hospital first. Your stock of modified metagel is low, but... I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Here's Thane! Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. 
I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. <laughs> it's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. All right. So we saw Thane. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. <laughs> okay, who else? The sorry scientist. We need to talk to... Which I... I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Okay, so we got that done. Now we just talk to Ashley and we'll be good to go at the hospital. I can answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. But where do we stand, Shepard? Did we cut all ties? Ash. It's always been you. When we didn't see eye to eye, I gave you as much time as I could. That's done now. 
I'm not doing this without you. I need you. I... Shepard, damn it, you sure know how to sweep a girl off her feet. You're already lying down. Romantic moment? Destroyed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I needed something good. It's been rough. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at Gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, Elsie. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? <laughs> Seems to be working. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, Maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Alright. You too, Shepard. We're back, okay? <laughs> Every time I play this game, I gotta watch that. You know? Alright, so who else are we gonna go see? Um We'll go to Purgatory just to see James. And then we'll go to the Presidium so we can go to all the stores and unlock them for the procurement terminal on the Normandy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment, please. We're not gonna talk to Arya yet about going to um Omega. Anyway, what are we? A couple of mall cops? Should have just shot. 
There we go. So that was the reason why I listened to some of this banner. So I can get some of the um, missions. Okay. We'll talk to Arya because she has a little bit of banner here. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Okay. So that's why you talk to Arya so you can get that mission. And then we're going to talk to James here for a little fun. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh huh. What do you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. 
They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Here we go. Who's the officer that Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to the Presidium. So we can talk to Gnarl. There's a lot to do on the Citadel. So I do apologize, everybody. This one's not going to be action-packed. But, um, you know, it's all got to be done, you know? Commander Shepard, one moment, please. Because I need the credits. That's why I want to get all the missions. I need the credits. I need the experience, you know? Now arriving at Presidium Commons. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything... The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Okay. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Charging for goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems the At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart them. is a strong heart. The Book of Plenics demands charity and forgiveness of debts in time. Cultivating of war. serenity we appreciate even during times the of crisis. The Book of Plenics was lost in our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Excelling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. I want that Aquarium VI. That way then the fish can be fed Don't automatically. Ask about our full service we'll take that ultralight pistol materials. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Thank you. Come again. Okay. I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over them, if we switch from financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. 
Watch Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home will burns. Carl is somewhere around here. I believe he's in here. Hands behind your back. We'll be here in a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! <laughs> I am to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So... Do you agree to Arya's terms? Ugh, most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Okay. But we got that one. Now we're gonna go around checking the other stores, talking to Edie and Joker and Liara. Make sure there's nothing else here. I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Oh, I thought there'd be a mission. Apparently not. Okay. According to the council, these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Here's Liara. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Right. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Okay, and that's the whole reason you talk to Liara. Just so you can have Barlavon give us some war assets. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best. Okay. 
We will. And thank you. Okay. I'm gonna check you first. That piercing pistol mod wouldn't be a bad one to have. We'll take the magazine upgrade too. We'll take that model too. Why not? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals <laughs> I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Leave it to Joker. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Okay. We'll grab model, why not? Smart. Shoot. Nosostra. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, new store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Um, uh, well, he 
It's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Ugh! Welcome to Agor Munitions. That scope I'll need for later. Please obey all local government Thank restrictions when purchasing protective Agor equipment. Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. And there we go. I just wanted to open up all these shops. Just, uh, um, I just wanted to open up all the shops. Just, uh, um, get them for the procurement, um, terminal. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not. There we go. We got the heating unit stabilizers. Um, quest. Like I said, I get all those quests so I can get the credits and I can... Okay. Like I said, if you listen to the banner, you end up getting quests, and you get money for them. You get credits for them. So... So yeah, like I said, I do apologize, everyone. This isn't going to be action-packed. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. We need more people like Anderson if we're going to win this. Agreed. That's where I can help you. A sizable mercenary group is offering their services to anyone who can rescue them from Reaper-controlled territory. Evacuate them, and they'll join your army. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. Okay. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Okay, so we do that as quickly as possible after we get done here on the Citadel. That way then we can get the money from him. So, But now we just need to go to the holding area just so we can talk to everyone else and then I think we'll be out of here. No, wait, we need to talk to Commander Bailey, too. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. But there's one here I need to talk to as well, so... Five, six, and seven? Okay. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Okay. We'll take that piercing mod for the assault rifles. With Batarian State Arms. Thank you for your patronage. Here's Kelly Chambers. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. 
please believe me? <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey. It's okay. I'm fine. I just... can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Okay, so we got our fish back because we talked to Kelly. If you make the fish survive in the first game, or I mean the second game, you... Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. So if you make the fish survive in the second game, and you talk to Kelly in this game, you get your fish back. Just a cool little thing. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Okay. Here's who we were looking for. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. <laughs> what is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to 
lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. The Alliance military is abandoned. All right. So now we got to go all the way back to the Presidium Commons. But actually, we're not going to. We're going to go to the embassies and talk to Commander Bailey first. I'm sure nobody else is here. Okay, yeah. That way, then, we can get that one open on the um, Commons as well. So then we can do both of them at the same time. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select. One moment. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Okay. So, there it is. There, I wanted to get that one going too. That way then I can get both of the ones on the commons at the same time. No need to run back and forth, back and forth when I can have them both going at once, you know. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Here's Araka. Commander Shepard. General Araka, I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Okay, so now we need to talk to one of the weapons dealers. 
and it's all the way over here. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Okay, so we gotta find rare pieces while we're out, which we will, um, once we get out of here and start looking around in the galaxy again. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> Yes, saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go back to the docks. The holding area. So we can talk to Sane. Okay, we can't talk to Baraka yet. I will leave the Citadel and I will do something because I know there's a few missions I can do that aren't part of the story. So there's side missions. I'll do a couple side missions. Where's Sane at? Um, near Garrus. Okay. Get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Okay. Thank you. 
Let me make sure. Okay, so we need to go talk to Commander Bailey again. Okay. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Okay, so we don't need to go talk to Bailey. Now we can just get out of here. Moment, we can get out of here and we can do some side missions. Now arriving at docking bay D24. That way we can get some money and... I want to save some money and get my um, N7 assault rifle. The Typhoon. Unless I already have it. I don't think I do, but you never know. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Okay, Arya wants us to take back um, Omega. I won't do that yet because I need weapons. I need stronger weapons. Okay. So, we're looking around the galaxy here. We'll find artifacts here at the Kite's Nest. Which is over here. I found something. We'll take you, because that's what we're looking for. black market artifacts we'll turn those in and um get that quest done there we found it evasion successful we're gonna get that fuel from the wreckage not a lot but we'll still take it it's free fuel Reapers eluded. All right. I don't think we're able to do the side missions yet until after we meet with the diplomats. Well, there's something here. Let's check out what's over here. Oh, that's just Grissom Academy. Nope. Nothing here. Alright. Nothing. There's nothing here. Huh. Alright, well, we'll have to meet with diplomats then. May as well fill up on fuel while we're here. Commander, 
The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. All right. Let's take a look at the info. Um, weapon damage. Power damage. Power damage. Power recharge speed. Weapon damage 25, 25, and we'll go, we'll go OG on this, we'll go OG on this. 
Athens Rex is gonna be with us too. We'll go OG. You know? We are gonna keep you, but get rid of you. So we could take the eagle. Avenger put the piercing mod on it as well. There we go. And we still get decent weight out of it. Okay. Okay, so what do I want to um fitness? That's what I want to do. There we go. We're going to save yours, but you... We're going to do warp for you. Why not? We'll do detonate for warp for Liara. Why not? All right. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <clears throat> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? 
Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. You're too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Okay, I'm just looking around for stuff. Please don't touch that. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote it. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. You'd think the Asari could do something about the Reapers. My friend said there was some sort of diplomatic summit, but the Asari wouldn't attend. Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach back with them. Only a Saxons. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Okay, here we go! Deep into the bowels of... L is pretty much where we're going. Now take this elevator down and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Yeah. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Oh shit! It's Morden! Excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden? Eyesight still sharp. Surprise understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved. Them. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard. Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That 
makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. <laughs> Please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. Okay. So we're gonna swap weapons here. <laughs> I knew I had to sneeze. Finally, that sneeze came out. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh, crap. Get back! Commander are you all right? Is there another way out of here? On the side of the lab. An emergency exit. I can open it from here. All right, here we go. We're going to kill some freaking Cerberus. And we do it the hard way, too. We climb ladders. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Taking enemy fire. There we go. More incoming. Don't want to take cover in the lab. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of firepower. Shepard, Cerberus is in the vicinity. Hurry. We're on our way. Well, actually, let me take a look around first. I'm looking for items because they hide items like this right here. Hell yeah. Okay. Shadow Broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. All right.
Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Okay. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Trying to get to you, Morton. Get down here. There we go. That did it. We'll take the high caliber barrel for the pistol. Always check around for your items, man. Always do it. Capable of anything. Yeah, well, we ain't fooling around either. Look who it is! Hostiles just down the hall. Captain Kirahi. It's Major now. Always hoped we would work together again. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Too late, we already took him on. I think we got them all. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. Make sure there's nothing here. There is something here. We'll take you. We'll take you. Make sure there ain't nothing up here, because there might be. All right.
emergency systems. Look around. There must be a power conduit nearby. There's our scorpion, we'll take it. Excellent. And clear it. Wait, another server squad. Keep up the pressure. Understood. That piercing model just take out the um guardians. God is ass. Destruction intact, Shepard. Can clear us through now. Got him with a grenade. That was cool. Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erdnot Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. Get down. That was the last one. Let's get there. There, we'll take the pistol scope. Hell yeah, we will. Females on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I'm making you an honorary Krogan. Here we go. We're almost back up top. Shepard, they found us. Let an enemy attack. Make sure there ain't nothing else here. There isn't. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of it. Okay, so now, now we need the assault. We need the sniper rifle. Exactly mellowed with age, has he? There we go. Shepard, I think you did it. Looks clear from here. I'm coming in now. That's how you take out those atlases. You just, uh, you crack open the cockpit and you take out the pilot. I 
me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Okay, and that's how you deal with Sir Cash. <laughs> Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope. But strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. And there's Hackett. Watching the construction of the crucible. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morden. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it. In private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk.
Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to call it for this video. I mean, I'm sorry it took so long on the Citadel, but I needed to get that stuff done. So, anyway, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did, and I'll see you all next episode.